Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. We're here discussing Final Cut Pro and uh, keeping our rooms tidy with all our libraries and library management. Um, Mark tends to... Uh, you know, have clutter all over his desktop. <laughs> We're just talking about that. But now with this new library model, libraries can exist anywhere, on any drive, on any volume. And you right. can have libraries like 10 stories down inside a folder. Yeah. And where is it? I'll never find it. And what size is it? You have a great app to show us. It's just a great app. And I do. I have stacks of uh, multi-terabyte drives around my edit suite. And I have to write on them what libraries are in them. Wow. And then I have to keep adding to that and updating it, like which one do I grab? So like there's a, you know, this video toaster has a little two terabyte drive here. So I've just got a, a mix of stuff. And one thing about I love about this application. So first of all, so I'll show you the web page here. This is by a company called Arctic Whiteness. You can see it here, Final Cut Library Manager. Uh, it's like $9. It's a very inexpensive app. And what it does is exactly what it says. It helps you manage your libraries. So one thing that does, especially this version, which is 1.5, and by the way, they've come out with new version immediately, like within months after the original version with a bunch of new features. So what this one can do, it not only it tracks all your libraries, it includes libraries on disconnected volumes, which is what I love about it. So even though I have various drives that are disconnected, I can still say, oh, okay, that project I did for the LA Creative Final Cut Pro Users Group is over on that drive, so I can grab it. Or the project that I did for this company is on that drive, so wow. I know exactly where everything is. That's fantastic. So that's, for me, it's a big organizational tool because it indexes all your drives, and when they're disconnected, you still get information about where they're located. Just, oh, wow, that's cool. When you select a drive, it highlights the libraries that are on that exactly. drive. Exactly, all the ones on that drive. That's so you can just go through and select the drive, and it highlights them. Wow. And you can sort them by, by name, last time they were modified, by their total size. And the cool thing about total size is that it allows you to do a bunch of operations here. In other words, your libraries, you can see these bars here, often include besides original media. And this includes you know, media, whether it's external or internal, it shows you how much media it has, but it also shows you optimized media, proxy media, and render files. That's that represented by the purple bar. Yeah, you can tell by the colors over oh, here. Optimize, proxy, and oh. render. And the cool thing is you can choose to delete any any files that you don't want. So for instance, here in this Fits and Dreams one, I've got a bunch of render files. So I can click to delete this uh, render files here and click the trash and I'll just do that. And I'm gonna actually cancel here, but it will delete all those render files. And all these files, optimized proxy and render, can be regenerated. Right, right? Of course. So, so it's okay to delete them. It's totally okay to delete them. So you can, if you've got a drive that's running out of space and this tells you exactly how much space each of these takes up, you're like, oh, I can free up a whole bunch of space here just by deleting these optimized media, proxy media, render media. This is fantastic. It's a great tool, really easy to do this kind of thing. A couple other features I'll mention about it is that um, you can actually add individual folders to this instead of full libraries. So if you're in a network environment and you have a directory on an XSAN, then you can add a folder to this so that it'll show up here. Show up right in that window. Yep. And then some, sometimes people have drives or volumes that are not indexed by Spotlight, which is how it normally works, but sure. now it will index everything, whether it's indexed by Spotlight or not. The other thing you can do is you can get rid of, um, in the new version, optical flow files, stabilization files. In this version? Like, or? In this new version. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, so, so in, in addition- those files can be huge. Those can get really, really big. So any of the, and shared media files. So for example, um, a lot of times when I work on projects, I will, um, Share directly to Vimeo, right? And every time you do that, it creates a movie file, and it's in the library. That's right. And those can, you know, often there are a couple hundred megs each. Yes. And pretty soon you have gigs of files because I'm going through many versions, and instead of manually going into the library and deleting those, this can do it for you. So wow. just That's a really, really fantastic. powerful tool. Um, and the, the price kind of makes it a no-brainer. Just to me, it's an immediate, obvious. A purchase for managing and you can see this long and these are only those are all your libraries well and this is only the drives I brought with me we're actually <laughs> we're in we're at your studio in Prescott right now so I only brought with me um, a two terabyte drive I've got this little drive over here connected and then this Mac actually has a little 64 gig um, flash drive stuck inside it this tiny Fuji thing so these are just the libraries on the disk I brought with me <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> you can see I need this. Oh, I wow. need this. You, I really need this tool. Do you ever? Yes. So um, 
I highly recommend it. I think they're they're great guys. They're, I, I like how responsive they are to feedback. They they um, uh, they deserve to get this thing out there for people to know about it. Absolutely, fantastic. Well, thanks for showing me. This is the first time I've actually seen it. Oh, so, excellent. Well, good. So there you have it. A new way to manage your libraries and keep your life and desktop and drives clean. And it is spring, by the way, so spring cleaning. So thanks for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. Check us out at. Uh, uh, our Facebook page and uh, check us out at Twitter or sign up for our Twitter feed at Ripple Training. Thanks for watching.